Kurdish leader Masoud Barazani and the face of the Kurdish referendum on independence taking place September 25th. But who is Masoud Barazani? He's the head of the Kurdish regional government, or the KRG, and the leader of one of two main parties controlling Iraqi Kurdistan since 1991. Barazani was born in 1946 in Mahabad, Iran. His late father, Mustafa Barazani, was a highly admired figure of the Kurdish national movement. In 1970, Masoud became a member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party leadership, and in 1979, he assumed overall control of the party after his father's death. The 1991 Gulf War and the Kurdish rebellion that followed ushered in a new phase in the Kurdish political life. The American-led coalition against Saddam Hussein enforced a no-fly zone over the Kurdish region and the Iraqi government withdrew from the Kurdish area. The two main Kurdish parties stepped in to fill the vacuum. But these two parties, led by Barazani and his counterpart, Jalal Talabani, persistently fought between themselves. The rivalry reached a crisis between 1994 and 1998 with a bitter war between them. In 1998, leaders of both parties signed a peace agreement in Washington. The result was the division of Iraqi Kurdistan into two regions administered separately by the two parties. Barazani's KDP in the north and Talabani's PUK in the south. That all changed after the second U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003. Faced with an emerging new reality, the KDP and PUK joined forces into a regional government. And in 2005, Barazani was elected president of a unified Iraqi Kurdistan. In 2009, Masoud Barazani was re-elected as president in the first direct elections. His eight-year term expired in 2013. The Kurdish parliament extended his presidency until 2015, and he has continued in the role ever since. Masoud Barazani was one of the eight candidates listed in Time magazine's 2014 Person of the Year for his efforts to push for Kurdish independence with the ongoing fight against the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, a fight that has shaped the Middle East and is not over yet.